My name is Kiran Bageshpur. I am the CTO here at Cumulo, and I'm here with... Brandon Whitelaw, VP of Cloud. So what we are here to talk about is nothing less than the most important and the biggest announcement in the history of Cumulo as a company. We are very excited about this, but before we get started, let's take a minute to talk about the state of unstructured data and how it has changed over the last 12 years. I think now customers are faced with what I call the 100 exabyte challenge. There's 100 exabytes of unstructured data on premises just begging to be used to fuel data-driven decisions going forward and especially with the AI ML revolution upon us, customers are looking for ways to get even more out of that data than ever before. And they need to be able to get it into a position on a common platform to unleash its potential. Today, you have a massive growth of data on-premise in customers' data centers. You have a lot of growth of data out at the edge of the network. Last, but absolutely not the least, it's the cloud. The cloud has really changed the game, both in terms of the amount of data being generated and more important, the amount of services, the richness of the services, particularly with AI ML out in the cloud. I think there's never been an opportunity where it actually makes more sense for a workload in the cloud than AI ML. There's never been a better time to have that data be fully unleashed with the compilation of services, uh, ISV solutions, and even consulting services on a common framework than today in the cloud to really get the most of it. The cool thing about Cumulo is it's a 100% software solution, and I mean really software. No dependency on underlying operating systems, no dependency on underlying hardware, which means we can run taking advantage of the appropriate primitives at various locations. And most importantly, in the cloud, for the first time, I'd like to announce Azure Native Cumulo is a cloud-native enterprise class file system. So what does that mean? In Azure, that means we are leveraging ZRS, Zone Redundant Storage, which is just amazing object storage as a primitive, which is highly available, highly durable, 12 nines of durability, that is the basis of where we store our customers' data. But we have taken advantage of the fact that we have this rich file system, rich data services, pulled that up to take advantage of all of the VMs of a variety of different sorts to run these services to deliver performance could be as little as 100 megabytes per second, could be as much as 100 gigabytes per second without any impact or noticeable change from a customer point of view. Anybody else does that? No, not even close. I mean, all come with compromises. They you know, have their particular strong suits, whether it be, again, performance or scale, but at the expense of enterprise data services and cost characteristics. Or they have enterprise data services, but you know, a hundredth of their performance and scale that they normally provide on-prem to those customers. And so there's an opportunity not only to support those as they, they connect the data from on-prem to the cloud, but also to provide a, a more efficient, more performant, capable way in cloud. And for a lot of customers that aren't ready to completely dedicate a pipeline to these services, it allows really a, an easy on-road into that environment where maybe it's day job as being the extension of your, your hospital for medical images for long-term retention to save money, increase durability and accessibility. But it also moonlights as your AIML data set to train on new services to help improve patient care, lower readmits rates, and other services like that. And so providing the best of both worlds and capabilities I think we'll really unlock a customer's potential to be able to shift those workloads where appropriate and really scale anywhere. What that means for you as a customer is you get to pay for what you're consuming, whether it's capacity or it's performance. Number two, you get for the first time a rich enterprise class file system with no compromises at all, both on premises and in the cloud. The third thing that I want to go bring about is it's got really compelling economics because it's always been this uh, uh, un well-known fact that file in the cloud is ridiculously expensive, 10, 20 times more expensive than on-premises. So what's the price point? 
at or better than on-prem total cost of ownership, multitudes less expensive than anything available across any cloud from a file system perspective. And I think that's the final roadblock that's preventing customers from really going all in on that data set. File really is the final frontier of cloud. Block and object's been figured out, but file hasn't because they have to compromise or because quite frankly, it's too expensive. And the number of customers I heard that said, hey, I can save money on compute and get better at this or that, but gosh, I really can't make this my primary productive environment because I would go broke with the cost of the storage. And now that's no longer an issue. Okay, let's get the numbers out because I think this is pretty compelling from a customer point of view. Uh, in the cloud, starting at as little as a 100 terabytes minimum, up to 500 terabytes, you're going to be looking at just $37 per terabyte per month consumed capacity, so you delete data, you start paying less for it the next uh, next month or the next day. If you get to a, a petabyte in capacity, it's as little as $30 per terabyte per month, and that is all in. It includes all the infrastructure cost, includes rich file services, it includes the operationalization of this infrastructure, because this is truly storage as a service in every shape and form. So. Specifically, Azure Native Cumulo, which will be publicly available for our preview deployments starting in February of 2024, is based on Azure's LRS cold blob storage. Uh, we will be offering that at less than $10 per terabyte per month, and it is really meant for large-scale long-term retention of data while maintaining the file system semantics that applications need to be able to go access that data on a constant and ongoing basis. The capabilities of that cannot be overstated. The problem a lot of enterprise customers face when looking to move a workload to the cloud is the really unpredictability and unbudgetability of those services. If you look at some of the object constructs, for example, there's, it's kind of death by a thousand slices. It's you know, 12, 17, 27 different ways and paradigms that they can charge you based on price per git, per put, per API list call. To be able to have all that taken away and a flat, simple, consumable, only what you use when you use it on both capacity and performance is truly the first completely cloud native file system. The other thing we want to talk about today is yet another amazing innovation that we are introducing. This is Cumulo Global Namespace, which enables our customers to access remote data no matter where it is, as if as it were local. If you have any number of Cumulo systems, whether they are on-premises, a variety of different hardware, in the cloud, multiple different clouds, or out at the edge, you can tie them all together, giving the administrator the ability and fine-grained control of what data is accessible in what way across these various locations. It allows customers a seamless transition from on-premises into cloud, whether that is moving just a small instance in Azure to start out, but make it look like the entire data sets that's on-prem is accessible to those Azure services, a great entry point into that AIML workloads as we talked about previously, or vice versa. I want to move that entire workload to the cloud, but I still need local accessibility for maybe performance characteristics for local users. We are always serving data off the lowest latency, highest performance uh, uh, infrastructure that we have, which typically is NVMe attached storage. Your users and applications have low latency, near real-time access, no matter whether the data is on hard drives, whether it is in object storage or on a different cumulus system across the globe. I think what's most astounding is really building on the momentum we provided for the last decade to our customers on-prem to make it so that even remote users have that extremely fast local-like performance to remote data without compromising on some additional infrastructure to manage or lacking data services or having a disparate run of speed of the light you know, problems to get lock contention navigated. Um, it's magic. People don't quite believe it can work the way it does, but I urge you to try it out. But that's not the only thing we are announcing at this point in time. We are also announcing Nexus as a cloud service to allow you to manage, monitor, and operate on all of your Cumulo instances, no matter where that is. A unified control plane for all of your Cumulo. Especially with how data is growing across the planet, you really need to have the richness of those real-time file system analytics natively built into Cumulo 
uh, be able to be consolidated into a single pane of glass. And so having that simplicity of Nexus is really executing on the, the, the final leg of the stool related to combining the cloud capabilities, the global namespace, and the simplicity and insights of the data anywhere to anyone. Fantastic. A lot of stuff for a lot of our customers, but if I were a customer uh, who has not yet decided to uh, embrace the public clouds, I think you should, or have not yet got enough locations that global namespace is relevant to them, what do we have for them, Brandon? Well, the last part here is considering that the world really is finding the balance with a hybrid world and potentially even multi-cloud hybrid world. We have customers who have, who have been hesitant to be able to move workloads into the cloud because of kind of the sunken cost, sunk cost of the deployment on premises. And being software differentiated and not bound to hardware, we want to provide the agility and flexibility to move those investments with the data wherever they needed as needed. And so with the launch of Cumulo One, we breed cloud-like consumption economics to our on-prem customers, paying for only what they consume as they consume it, but with the agility to move that consumption commitment and spend to any platform, that is any hardware platform, any location, and even into the cloud. So we're allowing customers not to move their data in a hybrid topology, but even their dollars. So truly, storage is a service anywhere a customer has data. Is that a fair description? All the points related to scale it anywhere completely realized, whether it be the ability to be software differentiated on any hardware platform, at the edge on a variety of different topologies, not bound by any hard fixed constructs for hardware, without compromise within the cloud, being able to combine it all with global namespace and accessibility from any to anywhere from anyone at any time, and then even for the pricing constructs to match. So there really is no more blockers to really fulfill the promise of scale anywhere. This is all fantastic, Brandon, can you walk us through a couple of customer examples of what this means, the ones that you've been talking to? Yeah, the first one that comes to mind that I'm extremely excited about is really helping hospitals find a way to reduce costs, increase durability, and get that data accessible to the richness of services only available in the cloud that could never really be fulfilled or afforded of hospitals on premise. And until this point, that data has been trapped on their on-premises data centers, mainly because of economics. And so there's about 30 exabytes of medical imaging data, about a billion dollars worth sitting on-premises, not able to feed those workloads. And now we've been able to help, uh, for example, a, a children's hospital find a more affordable way to be able to store that data in Azure and surprisingly 30 to 45% lower total cost of ownership than what they were already paying on premises. That money obviously going and fueling right back into new capabilities for patients. And then that data now addressable and natively accessible in Azure to feed all those other services to help enrich it and provide new outcomes for those patients. My name is JD Whitlock, CIO at Dayton Children's Hospital. Good afternoon, I'm Bill Sorrell, it's time to Chief Technology Officer at Dayton Children's Hospital. So working in healthcare is an absolute blessing. As our Chief Medical Officer says, if you can't get behind the mission of a children's hospital, you must not have a soul. In healthcare today, some of the more critical work that we do in terms of timeliness and low fault tolerance is medical imaging. So that radiologists could be reading studies that come in and it's absolutely critical they read them immediately. And depending on the situation, they may also need to refer to a previous study. As an example, we recently separated two conjoined twins, two little boys, and there was a lot of very in-depth imaging of their brains that were connected together vascularly. None of that could have been done without the support of information technology and a background providing all the services that they need to do it well and do it safely. And so we have to have good storage systems that can serve up all of these imaging, sometimes very large files, quickly and efficiently. Then when that urgency part is over, we have to store that file for many, many, many years. But we don't really want to keep them on on-premise storage, paying the cost for that if we can avoid it, which is why we uh, began to look at the Cumulo's cloud solutions. What Cumulo has made available just recently with their new architecture delivers on that promise of truly less expensive cloud storage, but still done in a way that our medical imaging systems can grab those files when they need to. 
And so the impact of that has been significant because as we're progressing into this project, we're gonna slow down the cost of new hardware coming in every year because we're getting new data. The global namespace technology that Cumula has and they're, they're working with us on is gonna allow us unfettered access to any of the files, no matter where they're stored at. It has the same name as it would be if it was on-prem or in the cloud. If those savings we can make into investments to allow us to maybe leapfrog into digital pathology, which is something we'd like to do in the future. In fact, if you look at what the FDA has already approved for using AI in clinical care, a lot of the new technologies are imaging related. In order to do that, the companies that are developing these technologies need access to lots of imaging data. That, of course, becomes easier when that data is in the cloud. I've never seen a solution provider with a level of support that they have and these systems and services that go along with that. It's just been tremendous. We started our relationship with Cumulo about five years ago and they've been a real pleasure to work with every step of the way. They deliver on their promise of good quality service so that we can have better results. So we're just really excited about that.